Hello everyone, this is the Batman Statue Collector and I'm once again coming to you from my Batcave. And this video is going to be a first for me. Uh, it's going to be an unboxing video. Um, I posted the question a couple of videos ago whether you would want me to do unboxing videos or not. Uh, and the answer was a resounding yes. And so uh, I'm going to do mine a little bit differently. Um, I know a lot of people, they, you know, they start with the, the cardboard box and they pull up the bag and they go through the styrofoam and everything. I want to save you some time. Um, I know I don't like to watch all of that, so um, I've already pulled the styrofoam out of here, but I wanted to show you the box. Um, this, of course, is the brand new premium format Catwoman from Batman Returns. Uh, this happens to be number 222 out of 2,500, so I'm really happy with that uh, lower number, um, and I'm really anxious to get her open. So this is the box. Um, kind of give you a kind of a spin around here, just kind of a quick view. Images from the movie, and it has the Shrek uh, cat on the top, the Shrek department store. I think that's kind of a really nice touch. So anyway, I'll put this down here, and uh, I'll go ahead and bring the styrofoam up here. We will, I have not opened this part yet, so I will uh, go ahead and start I'm doing the unboxing here. Around the side. This is always an exciting part as a collector to see how your statue turned out. Uh, if everything is good to go with the statue and if it uh, looks good in person. Now this particular statue, some people haven't been all that happy uh, with the, the facial sculpt. Um, and they don't even say, uh, whenever you get ready to have it shipped, it doesn't even say Michelle Pfeiffer. It says actress likes likeness, actress likeness. So really interesting that they maybe on purposely uh, don't have permission to use Michelle's likeness. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to open this up real carefully here. here with the base. See how it looks. The base is pretty big. It's a little bit bigger than I was expecting. Kind of look it over here. See how it looks. It looks really good. Um, again, this is the, the bottom here. Again, it's number 222 out of 2500. So I'll set that down there. The body here. Let's wrap that way. Body looks amazing. Uh, there's a lot of uh, subtle blue tints to this. Really nicely done. I don't see any problems at all there. Paint looks really good. Stitching looks nice. I'll go ahead and fit that right down into its keyhole. See if we can get that down in there nice. There it goes. Sits nice and flush. Let's see. One of these hands here. All right. Let's see. Everything looks real good here. Um, the fingernails look like they might be plastic on the end, which makes sense uh, because you wouldn't want them to break off. Uh, there is a little groove in the bottom, uh, so it looks like you might have to pick her back up, and there's a little groove on the base as well, so that fits in real nice. And of course we have the whip hand. Everything looks good there. No paint problems there at all. It goes right in front. <coughs> no People have had some issues with the whip. May have to play around a little bit with it, but uh, let's see what it looks like here. Uh, the whip is plastic, uh, molded plastic. I'm guessing it will go right into there. It's interesting, there's like a little knob there. I'm going to take this back off if I can put it in there. It snaps into place. And 
I know this goes around her somewhere, somehow, um, and I'll, I'll play around with that a little bit, but uh, just so you can see kind of what it looks like. All right, moment of truth. <clears throat> <clears throat> you know, in person, this looks really good. Um, I know some people have had a little bit of trouble with some of the paint and, and the eyes, but uh, wow, mine looks really good. Uh, and again, nice paint application there. And so there she is. Looks really good. Um, really impressed overall. Uh, just initially, I'm going to take a, a look at her and uh, get the full effect here, make sure that everything checks out okay. Um, that's been my unbox unboxing, uh, short and sweet. Uh, I am going to have a full review on it here uh, probably in the next day or so, so stay tuned to this channel, and uh, we'll go from there. But I just kind of wanted to give you a quick uh, look at her. Um, again, my initial impression is that uh, it's really quite stunning. Uh, I'm really already really I'm glad I got this piece. Um, I was kind of on the fence a little bit. But uh, I think she's going to go really well with my Michael Keaton premium format that I already have. So this has been the Batman Statue Collector. Please leave your comments below. Uh, please subscribe. And uh, again, the video review will be up real shortly. Um, and as always, I'll see you in the Batcave. All right, guys, I couldn't leave you hanging. I had to give you a close-up view here of what she looks like. Um, she's not in the absolute best light right now. Uh, she's in the center of my room. But I wanted to give you a quick update uh, give you a close-up look. Uh, I got the whip around her no problem. Uh, it was real easy to do, but I just wanted to give you kind of a, a real quick close-up of, of what she looks like. So uh, the video will be coming up, uh, the review will be coming up soon, and uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching.